In this tutorial, we will learn about the Keystone tool. This tool allows you to correct for perspective distortion either by placing markers to pinpoint lines that should be horizontal or vertical, applying a manual correction with sliders, or by using the auto function. The auto function is successful in most cases. So let's look at the auto function and guides first. By default, the auto function is enabled for vertical correction only. Let's try it on this photo. Adjust the level of correction using the amount slider. At 100%, Capture One will attempt to make lines perfectly horizontal or vertical. To automatically correct for either horizontal or both planes, select the corresponding icon before choosing auto. On these two photos, I'm going to try horizontal and vertical. As you saw, Auto Keystone works on batches of photos as well. So you can select many and apply auto at the same time. It's worth noting auto adjustment for Keystone is also available in the toolbars auto adjust icon, but for Keystone vertical only. Alternatively to auto, you can work with guides. Guides are placed by moving the four points to align with lines that you wish to be corrected to vertical, horizontal, or both. Let's try on this photo with vertical and horizontal correction. Points can be fine-tuned by using the cursor keys. When you're happy with the placement, click Apply in the center of the photo. When using the auto function or guides, the sliders will reflect the correction applied in the sliders tab. Further correction can be applied by adjusting the sliders. When using these, a grid is placed over the photo to aid alignment with horizontal and vertical aspects. I'll adjust the aspect slider to make the building a little taller. Finally, if you're using a phase one camera, Data captured by the camera's accelerometer can be used to automatically correct perspective as an alternative method. Once again, this option is only available for phase one cameras.